Ladies and gentlemen, BKB presents five two-minute rounds of bare-knuckle boxing in this British middleweight title clash. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing Preston. He is undefeated in BYB and has a BKB record of three wins, three defeats, and one draw. Stuart Mad Dog Maddox! Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner, representing Swansea with a BKB record of six wins and two defeats, Dan the Lionheart Lowell! And the All Brighton is our referee in charge of the action. We know the rules, it's a bayam, okay? I'll tell you to break your break straight away and no hitting and holding, okay? Let's touch them up, remember, they're not here to see me, okay? Let's get down to business. For the British middleweight title. It's vacant, but it won't be for long. Five two minute rounds. Straight down to business. Might be in Stuart's interest to. Make it as untidy. Wales, as where are you? He I can't to get hear you. Think, Tom, and um, get inside. Yeah, because Lerwell, obvious height and reach advantage. Stu needs to rough him up. He needs to get inside. If Dan hits you, you're going down. Uh, yeah, it's good night. You know, and he's in great shape. I mean, they're both in good shape. Obviously trained hard for this fight. But Stuart is as game as they come. Yeah, yeah. He needs to make that distance up, though. He can't keep it at range. That's where I think he's going to get picked off. Absolutely. He needs to get close to, to Lerwell. The fact the, the more he walks away, I think suits Lerwell. Yeah, that's what I mean, because he's leaving that distance in it, Tom, and that's, you know, that's what'll suit Lerwell. He's got a reach advantage on him. That's better from Maddox. Much better. Yeah, working on the inside. That's what he needs to be doing. He needs to be up close. Working the body, working the head. I have to say, the untidier, the better for yeah, Stuart Maddox. Maddox yeah. Let your fighter know you're with him, London, come on! Maddox has been a, a BKB stalwart, a veteran of the sport. He'd love to go... Oh, he's caught it. Oh, oh, no, oh well, my days. Quick one, two. I oh. think it was, it was a right hand that... Uh, First, yep. It was a jab that teed it up and then the right hand. The quick one, two, Tommy. Bump, bump, one, when two. When they hit you, I'm telling you, you stay it. It's over. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. It's over. That's it. OK, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, there's no need to check the judges' scorecards. The fight was stopped in the first round after a savage knockdown. And the winner in the red corner, Dan Lionheart Lowell! My friend, I want to talk to you about this belt. I want to talk to you about this fight. But I, I want to ask you to tell me about your son. My son, Theo, um, he's the reason why I started back fighting. Uh, all the kids with autism. I wasn't aware of it till he was born. And he needs to be out there as much as he can. Acceptance, awareness, anything is raised. It's, 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 a, it's a win every time. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's an inspiring, inspiring thing, the way you talk about your son. Um, uh, let's, let's talk about this fight. Yeah. Stuart, is, uh, he's been around for a long time. He's well-liked, very skilled guy. Yeah. You, were you excited to fight him? I was really excited to fight him, Mom. I just told him, no, I think it's the first time in a long time I'd be nervous fighting someone. You know, it's funny. I, when you were standing there, I looked and I said, man, Dan's feeling it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'll tell you the truth, I he's crying coming out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a tough guy. Absolute bad. I, can you stop giving me nice guys to fight, please, Jim? because I always seem to fight the nice guys. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be an honor for you, among many great things that you've got to do, to be this man's last fight. Oh, I tell you what, I think you should have one more myself, but he's, a, he's an absolute legend of the sport, lovely guy. I can't thank him enough for being here tonight. Always professional and an absolute legend of the sport. When I know you, you fight for autism, and we, I want to talk about that every time, but one day these belts 
you're going to be very proud to have them in your home and to yeah. tell stories about them. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I say it's not about, it's not about the belts for me. Um, they're a bonus, and they're a very good bonus, but uh, yeah, it's, it's something to tell the grandkids. I, I asked a couple of the other guys, what is it, why are the Welsh so tough? Because we just are Welsh tough fucking bastards. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's true. <laughs> and that's the end of it. Yes, it is. Well, sir, I, I love watching you fight. It, it's a real privilege every time. Please take a moment and, and say anything you like to anybody you like. If you could do one thing for me tonight, if you could all go on Facebook and tag aut autism acceptance, hashtag autism acceptance, and tag fighting for autism in it. Thank you, guys. We love you, Dan Lurwell. Dan Lurwell, ladies and gentlemen.